This screencast video will cover over using the 750 interface as a basic signal generator. You'll go in, open up your capstone file. Now as soon as it, the hardware automatically detects the 750 interface, it should stabilize. You should always check it, make sure it's there, everything looks good, no caution signs. Then you can click over to the signal generator. Instead of actually using it to receive signals, we're actually going to use it to create a signal. So you'll, we want a sine wave, so you want to change it to 1500 hertz. Now amplitude wise, we really don't much need much in the way of a voltage sent to the uh, speakers to get a voltage. So it's a good idea to change the voltage to the maximum that you want. In this case, we probably don't want a very loud sound, and in fact 0.5 might be too much. You'll be basically turning it on when you want a noise and then going over and turning it off when you want to shut the noise off. Later on, after you've gotten your frequency thing, what you'll want to do is you want to decrease the sound level. You really don't need it very loud in order to get your signal. If 0.02 isn't enough and you need it a little bit louder, increase that, but that's about it.